Hi, this is Leila Torres. Today we are going to be folding these rose bags designed by Maria Sinaiskaya. We need a piece of paper, square, same color on both sides, 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches. We begin by folding in a half and marking only the center, a pinch mark in the center, and fold. Fold the lower edge, the lower corner to the center. We mark one quarter distance and fold and find the center point between those two folds. Make sure you align well here and crease only to one third the distance, about one third the distance. Then rotate the paper and repeat. Fold in a half, pinch mark, one quarter, pinch mark, and halfway between those two pawn points. Repeat. Two more times. We, ho we have here four folds, basic folds. These are guide folds. Now bring the lower edge fold it up to the first guide line, making sure not to cover that fold, just stop one hair before you reach that fold. We unfold, rotate the paper and repeat in the other three sides. Always making sure not to cover the guiding fold. We just need to use it later. Once you finish those four folds, we are going to fold here the corner, a little diagonal, and only mark it in the corner, just to Repeat in the other three corners. And as we finish the four corners, we're going to pinch each corner so that we bring it up, bring the sides up. And we're going to create another diagonal fold in this area here. We create it as we flatten the corner. Rotate and repeat the action with the other three corners. Exactly the same. As we finish, we realize that it uh, resembles a windmill, but it's open in the center. Pick it up, turn it over, and emphasize those mountain folds that you already have there. We just, these are the guidelines that we made in the beginning, and that's why we didn't want to cover them, because at this point we want to emphasize and make sure that they are there. Now we're going to create some valley folds in the corner again, just the corner. Fold and unfold and repeat in the other three corners, 
just make ballet folds only in the corner. Open. Turn it over. Hold it with one hand. And look at this corner, at this uh, flap here. Pull that flap in and begin to shape the backs. Pull the next one, raise the side, rotate, take the next flap, pull it, pull it inside until you're done with four corners. As you see, we have the bags already made. Now we take each one of these points or flaps and we're going to curl. Can you use a um, skewer? And we're going to repeat with the three other petals. So here we have our finished rose bags. You can shape it a little bit more with your fingers to shape the borders. You can make different sizes and different colors. And it is a beautiful way to express to somebody how much we care for them. Thank you very much. This is Leila Torres from origamispirit.com. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and receive alerts when new videos are posted.